Hi, my name is Keith Hosea. I am the president and CEO of Telios Training Solutions. I just wanted to provide an update for you guys, those of you who are my friends and family who've been supporting me. You maybe haven't heard from me over the last year. In September of uh, September 20th of 2022, I received my kidney transplant, and that was a, a, a wonderful thing I'd been looking forward to. I'd been on uh, dialysis for seven years prior to that, and um, you guys were able to support and help me through that process, and I wanted to thank you for that. And I wanted to let you know what's been happening ever since then. Um, for the first three months, I was in kind of an intensive uh, recovery process. And so a lot of time spent at the Mayo Clinic in Phoenix, Arizona, a lot of time spent with doctors and specialists making sure that the new kidney was coming online. It just so happened that the kidney that I received was from a deceased donor. And so it takes longer for those kidneys to begin working normally. And uh, within a month, I was able to stop doing dialysis. And within three months, the kidney was functioning, you know, probably about 75%. But it was at that point that I started to experience a few um, side effects from the medications that I was given to protect that new kidney. And something that most people don't know is that when you get a transplant, for the rest of your life, you have to be on anti-rejection medications. The medications can be pretty harsh on your system and can produce a lot of side effects. And so over the last six or seven months, I've been dealing with a lot of those side effects. And I wanted to share with you guys what that has looked like for us and our family. Yeah, so when I had the staph infection, um, that was something that I couldn't anticipate. I, I never imagined that I would have to go through something like that and go through a major surgery, but, um, but I did. And um, I'm thankful to God that, that I was able to go through that, that I had great doctors and great care at Mayo, and that they were able to get me situated. Moving forward, I've continued to experience different um, side effects and different situations that have caused me to require more surgery and more extra medical care. And uh, even most recently, I ended up having to have a series of amputations that were caused by infections that were, um, you know, basically my body was not able to defend against because I have to take anti-rejection medication. At one point, my doctor told me, he said, we can totally fight this infection but it will cost you your new kidney. So you have a choice. You can stop taking your anti-rejection medication or you can deal with this infection, but you can't do both. So as a result of that, it's, it's kind of left me in um, some, some financial challenges because there are a lot of things that have not been covered by my insurance. My insurance has been able to cover almost everything associated with uh, the, the post-transplant but it has not been able to cover things like these extra surgeries. Um, even the wheelchair that I'm sitting in, I had to pay out of pocket. Um, everything that's associated with this recent surgery, um, you know, there's only one aspect that the insurance is willing to pay for. They said, we can help you pay for a wheelchair or we can help you pay for a prosthesis, but we can't help you pay for both. So as these challenges continue to emerge, I'm finding myself in need of more assistance and more help. And I just wanted to let you guys know where I'm at right now. Many of you have reached out and said, what can I do to help? Um, you know, I would love to be able to support you in any way possible. So um, this may be a great opportunity for you to offer some support. If you're here and you want to help, there are multiple ways that you can help and donate. You can use Zelle, you can use PayPal. Um, you can reach out to me directly. I also will have this posted as a part of my GoFundMe link. So please, however you feel comfortable, feel free to, to offer your support. And thank you again for everything that you guys do. I couldn't make it without you. I appreciate you and I love you. Thank you.